Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Daily Race, this Sunday edition. We are getting ready for services here at Palm Valley Church in Goodyear, Buckeye Online. In fact, I'm sure the, the crew is out there in Buckeye as we speak, pulling out carts, getting things set up at Yonker High School. Uh, Pastor Denton left his house like three hours ago from Gila Bend to get up there. Man, what, what a dedicated team we have out in Buckeye getting church ready each and every week. Uh, love to have you at one of our services, whether it's going to be at the Buckeye campus, the Goodyear campus, or online. Get to church today as we come together and worship God. We get to do that collectively. When we come together, we get to celebrate what God has done, what he's doing. Thank him for that. And then also, get challenged. <laughs> well, where is it that we want to continue growing? And we've been in this series of rational generosity, and man, it's been fun. I, I encourage you, get to church this weekend. Now today, we are continuing our Pick a Proverbs uh, kind of theme as we go through the, the book of Proverbs. And uh, we're, we're looking at Proverbs chapter 23 and 24 today. And the proverb that, that jumped out to me was from Proverbs chapter 24. Uh, and it's here in verse uh, 17. Proverbs 24, 17. It says this. Don't, don't rejoice when your enemies fall. Don't be happy when they stumble. Now, to be honest, like this is one like you hear it in black and white and you're reading. You're like, of course, I'm not going to rejoice when my enemies stumble. I'm not going to take you know, joy in other people's problems until it happens. I mean, if we're really honest, people that we've been in a, a conflict with, people we've been with, in disagreement with, and then they get caught in the lie or they get caught up, you know, maybe it's someone at work and they're kind of your, your nemesis at work. They're kind of undercutting you. Maybe they're taking clients from you. They're, you know, cutting corners and getting ahead and they're just, you're just this conflict. You would consider <clears throat> them your opposition at work and then they get caught. <clears throat> then they get, you know, a demotion or they get released or they get a reprimand and, and inside you're like, yes, yes, they, they got caught and there's a little bit of rejoicing going on there because they finally, you know, something bad happened to them. Now, once again, I think where we kind of get muddled in this area is we think, is we get justice mixed up with rejoicing for punishment. Now, justice is good, right? Uh, justice, uh, us being treated according to the law, according to the rules, like that justice is necessary. God is a God of justice. But there's a line that gets crossed there sometimes. And I'll be honest, I cross it sometimes. When, when bad things happen to bad people, I just kind of sometimes feel a little bit too happy about that. And that's, that's wrong. Uh, not only does this proverb say it's wrong, you know, just very... You know, very simply says, do not fret because, or uh, uh, don't rejoice when your enemies fail. Uh, don't be happy when they stumble. It's also, honestly, Jesus took it even further than that. In fact, Jesus says, hey, I don't want you to just not rejoice when your enemies fail. I want you to actually love your enemies. The people that persecute you, that do you harm, that steal your clients, <laughs> that make work harder for you, that are bad neighbors, that keep your kids up late at night, that light off fireworks at 1045 at night. I'm just saying that randomly, not that there was, yeah, there was neighbors setting off fireworks last night at 1045 at night. Anyways, to not just not rejoice when bad things happen to them, actually to love them, to actually pray for them. It's kind of hard to hate someone that you're praying for. It's kind of hard to, to think bad about someone when you're praying for good for them. Jesus takes it to a whole nother level. He takes it to a whole new level to love those who persecute us. Now, that's, that's not a natural thing at all. That is a supernatural thing. That means that, that God has to change us from the inside out because our natural response is not to love our enemies. Our natural response is to rejoice, to have a smile on our face when, when bad things happen to them. We didn't do it. We didn't do bad things to it. But when someone else, like someone else stepped in there, yeah, we'll rejoice in that. Jesus calls us to a much higher level. Jesus calls us to love everyone, including our enemies. What an incredible challenge. It's a great reminder. And I would encourage you maybe this week that when bad things happen to, to bad people and that <laughs> smile comes across your face, <clears throat> Or that moment of, yes, just take some time and pray for them. Turn it around. Start loving them as God <clears throat> would call us to love them as well. Let's pray. 
Lord, we love you. And we thank you so much for your love for us. God, we know that, that our rebellion, our, our sin, our stepping outside of your bounds puts us at odds with you, yet you love us. You loved us so much you came down here to earth and, and gave up your life for us so that we could be reconciled to you. God, you set the example for us. May we love others as you loved us. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. Hey, I hope you have a great, great rest of the morning and look forward to seeing you at church, whether that's Goodyear, Buckeye, or online. Get there today, and then I will see you 24 hours from now on the next Daily Race. Love you guys.